Students will gain a new perspective on global and local issues, obtain a sense of global citizenship and be encouraged to vote critically and participate in democratic institutions. You will need two model spheres per group, one around 30 cm diameter to represent the Earth and a smaller one to represent the Moon. You will need measuring tape and videos. The activity will take eight teaching periods. The activity is for students aged 14 to 18 and can be done in groups of five to six students. Divide the class into groups and give each group an Earth and Moon sphere. Ask them to estimate the correct distance between the Earth and Moon. Measure the distances estimated by each group and announce which group came closest to the right answer. Give worksheet 1 about how the Earthrise photo was taken, to each student and present the photo on the screen. Give a summary of when and where the photo was taken and ask the students to fill out the worksheet. Ask the students to close their eyes and let them imagine themselves standing on the moon looking at the floating Earth. Ask them to locate different places on the globe including their home country. Ask the students what emotions and feelings they felt while looking at the Earth floating in space. Write the answers down on the board. Ask the students to do research on these key terms. Divide the class into groups again. Give each group worksheet 2 and ask them to discuss and answer the questions. Ask each group to present their answers. Guide a discussion about the importance of voting in elections or referendums. The discussion should identify key global issues. Give each student worksheet 3 about the pale blue dot photo and an essay by Carl Sagan. Explain how it was taken and present the photo on the screen. Show the video, Pale Blue Dot, to the class. Ask the students to reflect on the perspective presented by the Pale Blue Dot photo, and to write their reflections down. Hold a final discussion with the whole class about their reflections.